Hello, it's Simon Gray from Career Codex, back with another weekly video. And uh, in this week's video, I'm, uh, I'm talking about failure, uh, which is the subject of my podcast and, uh, and blog post this week, which you can find on my website, careercodex.com. And the reason I'm talking about failure is because a couple of weeks ago, I had a, an interview. Uh, now, I don't normally go on interview because I, I run my own uh, organization. As a result, I, I don't need to go on interview anymore. Uh, but I do advise my clients as to how to approach the interview uh, process in the right way. And uh, the reason I was on interview is uh, I've been nominated for a, a business award. Uh, and as part of the process and the selection process, there was a panel interview to, uh, to go and have. So I uh, really enjoyed the experience. And uh, it prompted the topic of uh, this week's blog post, podcast and, uh, and video, uh, which was failure. Because one of the first questions they asked me was, Simon, when have you failed? And what did you learn from the experience? Now, none of us really relish failure. Uh, we perhaps don't like to admit that we fail. But in actual fact, if you analyze your failures, um, it's a great opportunity to grow, develop, and learn from the experience. So um, I give two examples. You can read more about this in the blog post or, uh, or here in the, uh, the podcast. Uh, I talked about when I started my recruitment company back in September 2008. The failure there was the timing. This is when the financial crisis hit. Uh, I wasn't the only one to get the timing wrong. I think most of the, uh, the, uh, the financial wizards in the world hadn't expected the crash, but um, nonetheless, it was a, it was a failure uh, in terms of timing and a great learning experience. And then five years on, when I exited my business in October 2013, there was another lesson to be learned because with hindsight, I could probably have done it a lot better. Uh, and made that process a lot smoother. So uh, providing you take your failure and, um, and you analyze it, you scrutinize it, uh, you ask the question, and I talked about this um, a few weeks back, you know, the power of questions. You ask questions that allow you to grow, develop, and learn for next time, then there is really no such thing as, uh, as failure. And uh, I, uh, I tend to look at the, uh, the LinkedIn uh, newsfeed on a daily basis. And uh, somebody last week had posted a quote from the Dalai Lama. And um, this quote went something on the lines of that when you when you talk when you talk um, you only communicate what you already know, but when you listen you have the opportunity to learn something new. And I thought this was great and very relevant to uh, to the topic of failure, because thinking about the first part of that quote, if we only did what we've already done and we never tried anything new, well that's akin just to, to talking. Uh, there's no risk there, we know what we know, we're not going to learn anything new. But when we listen, i.e. we try something new where there is a potential for failure, well, yeah, we might fail, but we have the opportunity to learn something new. And I thought this quote was fantastic. Uh, and again, you can see this in the, uh, in the blog, blog uh, post or, uh, or hear, it on the, uh, hear it on the podcast. Um, but many people are terrified of failure. Um, for me, failure is something that we should, we should move towards because it's a real clue that um, you're on the periphery of your comfort zone. Uh, the comfort zone is the people you know, the places you go, the things that you're used to doing. And of course, as we get close to the circumference of that comfort zone, uh, we start to feel uncomfortable. Uh, the fight or flight mechanism can sometimes kick in. And um, you know, really, this is the place we should be and we should stay long enough to expand our comfort zone to develop new skills uh, and experiences. But many people detract from this uh, and revert back to the safe, uh, to the safe place. And I've, I've spoken about this before. Uh, three years ago, absolutely terrified of public speaking. Uh, you would never have caught me on camera doing anything like this, but um, I pushed myself forward, uh, started to do this thing, uh, got some training, got some help with it, uh, and through practice and repetition uh, and using the right skills and techniques to speak properly, uh, now, I can honestly say that I don't get scared at all and uh, really having stayed out on the periphery of my comfort zone in terms of public speaking or presentation skills, that comfort zone has got bigger and bigger and bigger. So much so that I did a, a comedy challenge, a uh, stand-up comedy challenge uh, last November in front of 350 people. And I'll talk more about uh, public speaking on a future uh, blog post, podcast uh, and video because um, when you aspire to that executive level, of course, it's a very important skill to, uh, to have. So that's really the subject of today, uh, failure, and that failure really is an opportunity to grow, develop, and learn, uh, and to advance both personally and professionally. Uh, have a read more on the, on the website, careercodex.com. Uh, there's the blog post on there, there's the podcast on there, and uh, I'll be back next week uh, with another video on another topic relating to successful job search.